three state prisons under the microscope of the Department of Justice and found to have unacceptable levels of violence, little supervision and conditions posing dangers to inmates. Assistant Attorney General Kristen Clark of the Justice Department's Civil Rights Division making the announcement today. The DOJ investigated conditions at the Central Mississippi Correctional Facility, South Mississippi Correctional Facility and the Wilkinson Correctional Facility. It found them to be violating the constitutional rights of inmates being violent and unsafe, short staffed with a 30 to 50% vacancy controlled by gangs, mismanaged with rampant sexual violence. The incarcerated were also confined for long periods of time. The unconstitutional conditions here in Mississippi's prisons have existed for far too long, and we hope that today's announcement marks a turning point towards implementing sound evidence based solutions to these deeply entrenched problems. Mississippi Department of Corrections Commissioner Burl Kane saying quote that report is two years old and we've made a lot of changes since then. We have rebuilt MDOC and we're moving forward. We're cooperating with the Justice Department and rebuilding MDOC. Federal action is welcome news to a coast attorney who's filed lawsuits over prison conditions. Parker Boyd talked with him and has a closer look at what the report says about the prison in Leakesville. Well, the South Mississippi Correctional Institution houses 2,800 prisoners, all men. And like the other prisons investigated, the DOJ says it's plagued with crime and corruption. According to the Department of Justice investigation, widespread violence and gangs are flourishing inside the walls of the Southern Mississippi Correctional Institution in Leakesville. The DOJ says chronic understaffing has led to unsafe conditions. Over a two-year period, the DOJ reviewed 100 reported assaults or fights at the SMCI where prisoners have been stabbed and raped. Data shows up to a third of the inmates were confirmed gang members, and those gangs run their own city inside. That the gangs have risen to such a high level, a shocking level, throughout the prison system that it, it caused the abuses to be very widespread. And abuses involving everything from uh, assaults to, to that led to death. Now that the federal government has come in and, and, and made a demand that they correct the problems or else they themselves will bring litigation, now I feel like something's going to be done. The DOJ report says contraband, like drugs and cell phones, is brought in by visitors, vendors, and even staff. Records over a 13-month period found 1,200 cell phones at SMCI. That's an average of 92 cell phones found each month. Officials say inmates use those cell phones to post on social media and conduct illegal business from their personal cell. The DOJ says it's working with the state of Mississippi to stop these violations and improve safety and living standards for the incarcerated. 